Okay, so in this video, we will work on our zombie AI. For that, in the scripts folder, create a new folder by the name of zombies AI. Then in here, let's create a C sharp script by the name of zombie AI. Then click on zombie one, drag and drop this script right here at the top. Then let's open this up. In here, we will remove the start and update method. And at the top, we will say using unity engine dot AI because we will be using the nav mesh agent. So make sure that you add this as well. Then in here, we will create a enum which will take for state so let's first of all create it it will be by the name of zombie state okay and in here the first state will be the idle the second one will be chase the third one will be attack and then the last one will be dead okay so once you create this after this we will say public zombie state and let's set the current state of the zombie to zombie state dot idle okay because when we start the game the zombie will be in idle animation okay or you can say the zombie will be standing on her ground or on his ground according to the character if it is male or female okay so once you set the current state then after this we need a reference to our player transform so we will add that then we will be needing a chase distance for our zombie so we will create a float by the name of chase distance and by default the chase distance will be 10 then we also need a attack distance as well so we will say attack distance this will be by default equals to 2 then after this we will create a attack cooldown time it will be 2 okay we will change this and according to the zombies okay then after this we need a time delay between attacks so for that we will create a attack delay float which will be by default equals to 1.5 after this or actually right here at the top we need to create a reference to the nav mesh agent of the zombie so we will say public nav mesh agent and let's name this as nav agent then right down below we need to create a private pool by the name of is attacking and the next private pool will be last attack time okay so these are all of the variables which we need for our four states of the zombie now let's add a start method and inside this start method we will first of all assign the nav mesh agent of the zombie so it will be equals to get component and we want to get the nav mesh agent okay and also right here when the game start the last attack time will be equals to minus attack cooldown okay make sure that you do this right now then after this we will create a update method and now in here we will tell the zombie to what state to perform or you can say 
what the zombie will do in each of these states okay so for that let's create a switch statement and in here we will set the current state of the zombie at according to the situations okay so in the first case we will say zombie state dot idle okay so what the zombie will do in the idle state first of all we will play the animations at according to the zombie but for now we don't have the animations so what we're gonna do we will say if vector 3 dot distance we will right here pass the zombie position then the player position and then we will say if it is less than or equals to the chase distance it means the player is nearby the zombie so what we will do we will tell the zombie to chase the player okay so we will set the current state to the zombie state dot chase and right here we will simply break this so it does not execute the code after this okay so let me tell you again what we did right here in this case so if the zombie state is idle okay then right here we check first of all we will play the idle animation okay the zombie will be standing in the idle animation after that we check if the zombie is nearby the player or if the player is nearby the zombie then what we will do we will simply set the current state to chase because now the zombie can chase the player okay so now let's create a case for our chase okay in here what we will do we will first of all play the animations then after that since this is a chase state so the zombie will chase the player so what we will do we will say nav agent dot set destination and the destination will be player position so we will say player dot position then after this now we will check if the player is in the attack distance of the zombie then we want to attack the player okay so for that we will add a if condition and in here we will say vector 3 dot distance so if the zombie position and the player position is less than or equals to the attack distance then we will simply call the attack state so we will set the current state to the zombie state dot attack okay and right here we will simply break this case so that the other code does not execute now let's create a, another case and this time this will be zombie state dot attack and now what we want to do in the attack state first of all we will play the animations and after the animations we will stop the zombie or uh, where the zombie position is okay because while attacking the zombie should not be moving okay so we will set the destination of the zombie to transform dot position and after this we will be attacking the player but for now we will just simply say debug.log attack player that is it okay and then after attacking the player for example if now the player moves away from the zombie of course we will be saving our player so we can move around so now what we will do we will say that if the first of all we will say vector 3 dot distance then first of all we will take the zombie position 
then the player position and then we will say that if now this is greater than the attack distance then it means the player A is moving away from the zombie so we will set the zombie state back to chase okay so we will say zombie state dot chase and right here we will simply break that is all for the attack cast for now and after this we will now create another state which will be the dead so what the zombie will do in the dead case okay, so first of all we will play the animations then when the zombie die we will be doing a lot of other things but for now we will simply say dead that is it and at the end we will simply say break all right let me add a semicolon right there and let me check the code up here i have made a mistake right here this last attack time should be a float and not a pool okay the pool will be just this is attacking now if we save the script and get back to unity let's click on zombie one as you can see we have the states right here it will change it accordingly but let's assign the nav mesh agent then the player transforms so just simply drag and drop the player in there and that is it okay now if we play the game you can also notice this current state changing according to the situations which we set up okay so now the current state is idle now if we move inside the chase distance as you can see now the current state is chase okay the zombie will be chasing us around in the environment as you can see for now the zombie doesn't have any animation but if you notice the zombie can chase us around in the environment okay now if you stop now as you can see the current state change to attack and it also shows right here that attack player it means the player is getting attack for now the zombie attack is a little bit fast but we will be fixing that according to our attack delay and the attack cooldown all of that okay but that will be in the upcoming video and of course the zombie can't damage the player for now because the zombie doesn't have any health or anything and also we can't damage the zombie as well because the zombie can't take any damage okay so we will be doing all of that in our upcoming videos